Let's look at one of my favorite off-whites by Benjamin Moore ever. It's called White Dove. It is a classic. One of my ultimate recommendations for kitchen cabinets if you wanted a warmer off-white. And that's what you're getting here. A beautiful, clean, sophisticated white that doesn't feel cold and frigid. In this episode of Color Quickie, we're going to look at this paint color in detail, give you some technical information, just so you feel like a brainiac when talking about it to your friends. And also, more importantly, we have some trim color options to go with it and some color pairings to give you a full on color palette for your home for free. So if that sounds good to you, press that like button for me and let's talk about White Dove. So there's a good reason why this is one of the best selling colors in Benjamin Moore's entire catalog, mainly because of the fact that it has this timeless appeal to it. Very, very flexible and versatile. Sometimes with other white paint colors, you might find that there's a bit too much gray in them. They're a bit too cool. Some of them look a bit blue in certain situations or on the opposite end, to yellow and they can feel like they have this sort of yellow highlighter kind of greeniness that is not very appealing to a lot of people. White Dove manages to compromise between feeling warm, but not overly so, soft, but still clean. And one of the first things we can look at is the LRV or the light reflectance value. This tells us the percentage of light that White Dove reflects and it scores around an 83 which is very high when you're talking about all of paint colors as a whole. But in terms of white paint colors, not quite the brightest, but still within that tier of white looking colors. It's gonna look white. This is why I often recommend it as an awesome cabinet color for your kitchen specifically, because it'll help your kitchen feel light and approachable, not sterile and lifeless like some brighter whites out there. It also makes it a great soft trim color in the interior and outside of your home. And I would say it's also a good choice on walls because because it still has some color to it. It's not gonna feel like a plain old boring white on your walls. There is something to it and it really coordinates beautifully with any other warmer leaning things you might already have in your home, like natural materials like wood, wicker, rattan, jute, and anything else that makes you feel nice, warm, and cozy. Huga vibes. Now let's talk about some trim color options. I got two of them for you, a lighter and a darker choice in case you wanted one or the other. Typically the standard for a majority of people would be an off-white of some sort or white trim. So the choice that I would recommend would be white. Literally, OC-151, a very classic standard choice that Benjamin Moore used to premix. And it's definitely not the brightest white that Benjamin Moore makes, but what I enjoy about it is it has a nearly identical lightness value or LRV when compared to White Dove. So they're very, very similar colors, nearly identical, but what white sort of takes away is that warm, creamy aspect. The contrast isn't in the depth, but it's in the hue. You have a more stark, clean white, in white and then you have white dove which has that heightened bit of beigey warmth that I really, really enjoy. So the two give you a very subtle difference, but they have different color temperatures. So that's the real change between them. You could also just default to having white dove as your lighter trim option. But if you wanted something slightly different, maybe a bit more neutral, then white would be my choice. Or Chantilly Lace, I guess. On the opposite end of things, if you wanted something darker for your woodwork, maybe you wanted darker baseboards, or maybe some dramatic interior doors or cabinetry, Pendle Charcoal would be my choice in that respect. Another neutral, but a very different feeling neutral. It has a 14 and a half LRV, very dark, much richer. It has this robust, heavy combination of slate gray and brown, very earthy and organic feeling. And I find it's one of those colors that seems to work remarkably well in a number of situations. Excellent with other neutrals and deep and dark enough and rich enough to stand up against any more vibrant colors that you incorporate around it. It could also double as a great wall color too. But the three actual color pairings that I picked for it, maybe for different rooms throughout your home, are the following. We got Baby Fawn to start, and this is going to be your go-to light neutral color to incorporate with White Dove. Maybe you wanted something that didn't look completely white. You wanted something with a little more body. This is where Baby Fawn comes in, and I find it has this very happy feeling to it. Maybe a subconscious happiness because of the fact that it doesn't have a ton of vibrancy. It is a background canvas color that just sort of exists in your space, doesn't pull too much attention or focus, but it has more depth than you might think. Its LRV is around a 63. So that is sort of on the lighter mid-tone side of things. It will pop remarkably well against White Dove if you had it on your trim because there is nearly a 20 point difference in lightness. That's fun. Such fun. 
fun. And I just feel like it's always good to incorporate at least one pretty passive color in a palette, just so you can have something that can connect the dots between your spaces, not something that's too dramatic and vibrant and maybe polarizing in areas like hallways and the foyer and connecting areas that are attaching different rooms together. And within this palette, whether you go with the slightly darker baby fawn or the much lighter white dove, they can do the same sort of thing, just at varying different levels of darkness. Now, the next color is a little bit darker and definitely more saturated. Mount Saint Anne would be my second color pairing. And we're introducing that new hue of blue and green, but it is a muted combination of the two. So you have that gray aspect happening. It's not going to jump off the walls, but it will be noticeable. This is not a color that will be completely ignored. Your guests will see it and be like, oh, this is fun, this is different. I just feel like these sort of cooler colors these almost spa feeling colors are perfect in areas like bathrooms and bedrooms, but even in a kitchen or living in dining rooms, there are a lot of places you can use this appropriately just because of the fact that it still fits within that neutral archetype of colors. A bit toned down, a bit settled, very different from the other colors we're talking about, especially White Dove. The third color pairing is meant to represent a woodsy brown. It's called Deer Trail. This is a beautiful color to just give you that organic, rich, woody brown that I think the rest of the palette craves. Brown is awesome if you wanna incorporate some rich saturation without feeling like it's out of place because wood in general will have a color to it, but it still feel like it belongs in a number of situations. Deer Trail also looks awesome with Mount St. Anne. They really complement each other in a beautiful way. A bit of a warm and cool dynamic, still relatively neutral, I would say, but you don't have as much of that grayed out feel with this brown does feel pretty clean and pure, I would say, in its saturation. And I do think it lends itself well to those more accent sort of use cases. Maybe not as an accent wall. I would probably prefer this as a room color or furniture, fixtures, cabinetry, things of that nature. You could also use this in an upper lower situation, maybe a chair railing or cabinets where you have a combination of White Dove and Deer Trail or Mount St. Anne and Deer Trail. There's a lot of different combinations you can have with this palette that give you a nice sense of balance and variety. And of course, here's the palette altogether. This is how it looks. I hope you enjoy it. And if you want some extra content from us that is a little more design oriented rather than paint color specifically, check out our Patreon, which we've recently launched. There's extra videos every single week on there and some behind the scenes stuff and some exclusive perks, which you can check out. Click the link down below and you'll have all the information you need on that. As for another color palette, we have more color quickie right over here. So check it out.